Well, uh, some uh, breaking news now. The government has just released uh, the regular latest test and trace figures showing an increase of more than 40% uh, in uh, positive test cases for COVID in just one week. Well, let's go live now to our technology correspondent, uh, Roland Manthorpe. Roland, tell us more. Hi, Adam. Yes, a big jump in the number of positive cases registered for the week between 27th of August and 2nd of September. So not quite up to date, but for that week, almost 10,000 new people tested positive. And the statistics, which, as you can imagine, they're always very dry, they call that a notable increase. And it really is, isn't it? 43 percent jump. And I think this just echoes what we heard yesterday from Chris Whitty, Patrick Balance and Boris Johnson, case arising. We also got numbers for the success of Test and Trace. And I have to say, I think these are also concerning. Test and Trace is now consistently reaching 70 percent of contacts identified. In other words, it is missing three in 10 people and it is stabilised at that level. We've got cases going up. The big question is, as the Prime Minister said yesterday, can we deal with this? Can we contain these cases before they turn into deaths and hospitalizations? Test and trace performance suggests that it might not be the tool that we really need. And just on uh, the 70% success in tracing contacts identified, that's the point, isn't it? Because quite a lot of contacts are still not being identified. Yes, exactly. So, so test and trace gets through to about 80% of people who test positive and then gets through to about into in total of 70% of all the contacts. And yeah, you have to, that's, that's always the thing that you have to wonder. So of all the people who test positive, only 80% are contacted. What happens to the two in 10 who test positive and just simply disappear? This, is, this has been a, a problem for the system since the very beginning. And the thing is, is that until now, it, it hasn't mattered so much because cases have been confined to clusters. You know, from a practical point of view, obviously it's totally awful if you have 100 cases in a meatpacking plant, but those 100 cases that you can identify quite easily, you know where they all are. Now, as we understand, cases are and once again rising in the community, and that makes them much harder to identify. And so, yeah, this, this difficulty, it, it's hard to see how it's going to improve. And for all of us, it's hard to see how it's going to contain the virus in the way that we want.